on this beach exist some of the most fascinating relatives of the tortoises. And we're here to explore them. You ready? This is the first time in my life I'm seeing an uh, adult sea turtle. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so what are we looking at out here on the beach? So today we're actually on the north shore of Maui looking at sea turtles. What you see over there is a green sea turtle. My name is Magdalena. I've been working for Hawaii Wildlife Fund for seven years. And then you see right here is a busy beach today. So what we do, we try to uh, manage in this beach here, educate. Yep, I've been coming out here for around six years now. I come from the mainland and um, I'm actually a fourth year veterinary student at Colorado State University. So tell me, what is it about this beach? Like why the sea turtles come here? I thought sea turtles only come ashore when they lay yeah. their eggs, right? That's what I remember yeah. seeing on documentaries. Clearly that's not the case. Yeah, so you're not wrong. Most people who come to this beach yeah. think that they're here laying eggs. Uh, they're actually here basking. So it's where they come to get in their energy and actually rest so they can go back in the water and feed on the algae out there. How many sea turtles gather here? Yeah. What's the most you've seen? Well, in my experience, the most I see was 185. Yeah. How many species of sea turtle are there? Here in Hawaii. Here on Hawaii. Five, five. But we only see two. two. So the green sea turtle and the hawksbill. Like a big one like this one right up here, right? How old do you think that turtle is? And can you tell if that's a male or a female? Yeah, it's not easy to tell the age, but the size of the shell, the size of the tail, we can identify the age of the green sea turtles. Most of them maybe in the 40s, 50s. How old would a female need to be to be of age to lay eggs? Yeah, so it's usually around 20 years old. 20 years, so they have to survive for 20 years, right? So now what do the green sea turtles eat? They start off their lives and they eat both little fish and algae and then as they get older, I like to say they become vegetarians and okay. they eat most of the algae off of the rocks so you can see the green on there and that's yeah. what they're eating. Climate change is what we hear about all the time. Mm -hmm. We witness it in Los Angeles. It yeah. is so much hotter. What have you experienced here in Hawaii as far as climate change and how it's affecting the turtles directly? So I think one of the biggest things that we see, so a prime example is it's been record heat here for about 16 days now. The water's been hotter than it's been almost all year. Yeah. And so what we see is a huge thing is um, bleaching of corals here. So if you see pictures in the past of those bright, vibrant corals that there used to be, here it looks almost like cement. It's white, um, there's no more vibrant colors everywhere, and it is, makes it harder for them to find food. So their food supply gets scarcer mm -hmm. because the corals aren't surviving. Yeah. Fish can survive, the algae can survive, so no more, they can put the food for the sea turtles. What can people do? What can the average person do to help? Yeah, so I think there's the small scale things that everyone can do. So a huge thing is uh, reef safe sunscreen. So what is it? Say again. Reef, reef safe, reef sunscreen. safe sunscreen. So taking okay. out things like oxybenzone, basically all the zones, and you just want something with like zinc oxide. That makes a huge difference. That's a huge reason that corals here are having dying. Yeah, from the sunscreen. Yeah, lotion. from the toxins. Wow. No idea. Yeah, and I think that even leaving a piece of trash on the beach goes into the water, that's affecting the entire ecosystem. So making sure when you're at the beach, you're picking up your trash, you're avoiding using plastics, you're not using plastic straws, things like that. Those are very small things that everyone can do every day. Okay. Oh, like people don't know what to do when they come in Hawaii, you can go to Hawaii Wildlife Farm. You Get have a, nice a website, right there. A Instagram. Yeah. So if we want to help, we can go to HawaiiWildlifeFund.org. Yep. See, so we need people like you, yeah. smiling, exciting when they come here. How can you, you look? How can you not be excited to see them? So thank you. Thank you. You so rock. Much. Okay. Thanks how are you? We give her. Yeah, yeah big hug. Big hug. Big hug. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go in the water now. Okay? Yeah. 
Kevin, welcome to Ohio. I'm Two Turtle Tom, and I work with tortoises from Africa called hingeback tortoises. They actually have a hinge in the back of their shell. 